Hello everyone, welcome you all. Let us discuss one number system based problem. A B C into 3 which is equal to B B B where A comma B and C are distant digits and A not equal to 0. What must be the average of A B C? Before solving this problem, I would like to share one information. These kind of questions are very important. If you go through the recent train UPSC paper 2 question paper, you can able to identify these kind of questions. Before solving this problem, I would like to share few information related to the place value. This is unit place, tenth place, under place. And then how to find out the place value? For example, 279, how to written with respect to the place value? This 9 can be written as 1 into 9 since it is present in the unit place the 7 can be written into 10 into 7 which is nothing but 70 it is in the 10th place and then this 2 can be written as 100 into 2 why it is in the 100 place how can you write this this can be written as 200 plus 70 plus 9 so this is the way to express the place values. Let us move on to this question. How to find out the average of A, B and C? Listen, same logic you need to apply here. A, B, C into 3 which is equal to B, B, B. Just express this with respect to the place values. Therefore, C is in the unit place, B is in the 10th place, A is in the 100 place. Just try to express. 100A plus 10B plus 1 into C, C. So A into 3 which is equal to S plus that B, B, B with respect to the place value constant. The 4, 100B plus 10B plus 1 into B, B. Totally how many Bs are there? 100, 10 and 1. Therefore, triple 1 Bs are there. Here, in order to identify 100A plus 10B plus C, just bring the 3 to the RHS, which means we have to divide this triple 1B by 3. If you divide, surely you will get 37B here, which means that 100A plus 10B plus C is equal to 37B. Now bring this 10B towards RHS. Now, 100A plus C is equal to 37B minus 10B. So, just subtract this. So, you are getting 27B. Now, we have to move on with the trial and error method. Now, listen carefully. A is not equal to 0. So, if A is not equal to 0, if A is equal to 1, obviously, the LHS is going to be more than 100. Why? Listen carefully. 100 into if A is equal to 1, obviously 100 into 1 which is going to be 100. If you place some values for C, obviously it is going to be more than 100. Which means the LHS obviously going to be more than 100. Now you have to check with the RHS. RHS 27 into B. So just crash check here values of b possible values of b to cross 100 27 into 1 27 not crossing 100 into 2 54 not crossing 100 into 3 therefore it is also not crossing 100 27 into 3 which is equal to 81 27 into 4 yes obviously it's crossing 100 therefore the minimum value of b is equal to 4 which means the LHS will become 27 into 4, sorry, not LHS, RHS. The RHS will become 27 into 4, which is equal to 108. So try to express this 108 with respect to LHS. Therefore, this 108 can be written as 100 plus 8 years. Here, we need to express in the form of 100A plus C. Now, listen carefully. C might be 8. 
then we have to express this hundred with respect to hundred into one plus eight. Now the value of a is equal to one. Value of c is equal to eight. We know the value of b. The four a is equal to one. B is equal to four. C is equal to eight. After finding out this, we need to identify the average. So three values are there: a plus b plus c. How to find out average? A plus b plus c by three. So which is equal to four plus eight, twelve. Twelve plus one, thirteen. Thirteen by three. Obviously, going to give you result and as four point something. Check with the options. Only option present that is four point three three. Remaining or more than four point three three. Therefore, you should not take this. So the answer for this question is option C, four point three three. Thank you all. If you are having a doubt, please comment. I will clarify. Thank you once again. Have a good day.